So here's an experiment that will take a couple weeks to actually produce results. So we're going to make some rock candy. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Okay, so this one you've got all the stuff at home, basically just water. Uh, I've got some bamboo skewers getting ready to do some summer grill outs, but we'll use that. You've got a mason jar or just a bottle that you can use to, uh, if you want to also color it, and you can pick your food coloring. Got a little vanilla to flavor it, and then sugar, clothespin also to help keep it stable. So the first thing you do, pour two cups of water into your pot. All right. So now we have to get this boiling. All right, I'm gonna go put this on the stove. You stay there. Now we're gonna add four cups of sugar to create a super saturated solution. We're gonna add this to the boiling water. Jax, do you remember what super saturated is? When clouds get really filled with water, Oh, it's about to rain. That's right. So when clouds get so full of water, they're super saturated, and that's what can create rain for us sometimes. So we're going to do that with the sugar. So it's a fun little weather lesson you can also put into uh, cooking. Cooking up seconds. You want your rock candy to be flavored, just add a little bit of flavor. You can use vanilla or peppermint. You don't like peppermint though, do you, Jax? No, we're doing vanilla. Once the sugar is all dissolved, you remove it from the heat. You let that cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while you're doing that, you can have the kids get the bamboo sticks or whatever. Hold those, bud. All right, get them wet. All right, get them all the way wet. And then, we're gonna add more sugar. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put some regular sugar on just a nice little cutting board or something. All right, now roll these in the sugar, okay, bud? Let's roll them in the sugar. Roll them, roll them. Right. This is how we're gonna make the rock candy. So this gives the super saturated solution something to stick onto. So this is gonna act very much like a cloud. So clouds need a dust or a dirt particle in the air to stick onto. So that one, the super saturated solution, just like your cloud, your water vapor, it sticks to these little dirt particles. So that's what we're gonna do when we put it in the jar. The super saturated solution will stick to these little sugar crystals. So it'll give them something to adhere to, called a dendrite. So once the super saturated solution has cooled down, I would pour it into a measuring cup just for ease of use, especially with the kids around. So now it's cool enough. All right, Jax, you ready to make some rock candy? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna pour, we can make one for you and Asher, right? You wanna help me pour this in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we pour that in. What's... This is our super saturated sugar solution, remember? What are we going to okay. do with them? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the clothespin here so it stays in the center. We don't want anything else to disturb it. And then we'll put a paper towel on top. And we're going to let this sit for almost two weeks and all of this solution will turn into sugar on the stick and you'll have rock candy. Excited? Whoops. Can you wait for two weeks? I think that'll take a long time, but you can check on the progress every single day. And again, in about two weeks, you'll have rock candy.